right, so Dave Brennan, Planner Marketing Manager for Case IH Early Riser Planners. Hey, we're out in the field today running the AFS Pro 1200 Control Solution for a 2000 Series Early Riser Planner. And a couple things we want to focus on when we talk about this uh, display solution for a 2000 Series Early Riser Planner. Uh, the first one uh, being that integration, truly an integrated display. It's going to warehouse all of the tractor functionality, tractor information. It's going to warehouse all of the guidance information, guidance control, uh, as well as now the planner control, planner information. All of that's going to be warehoused in one single display. Nice, clean install. I don't have any additional monitors to uh, additional wires running in the cab. They're going to block that visibility out of the right-hand side. So a very integrated solution. We also understand at Case IH we're generating a absolute ton of data as we make these planner passes through the field. That information also integrated into the AFS Connect portal. Nice, seamless, uh, integrated location to go ahead and grab the data from uh, for to share with our trusted third-party advisors, or um, take it back to desktop software to manage that information and utilize it elsewhere. All right, so we talked about integration on the Pro 1200. Now let's talk about another. A key key element of the Pro 1200 display solution on a 2000 series or the riser planner, and that is going to be that customization. So we understand growers based on how the planner's configured, based on how they want to see that information that's being displayed on the display, uh, they can they can customize it in, in a number of different ways. And so really endless in the ways way we can customize the Pro 1200 display. Uh, we've got uh, now six run screens dedicated to really uh, any features we want to put on there or the operator wants to put on there. And we're also going to have a dedicated universal terminal. That's going to be our access into that planner. That is all things planner. We've got six run windows within that universal terminal and all that planner control, all that planner data is going to reside over on that known location. So that as I jump into tractor that maybe I'm not super familiar with, I'm not having to uh, flip through screens to access different planner functions. I know where those planner functions are going to be and where they're going to reside. Uh, then I can flip through these other run screens. I can put tractor functionality on some of the first ones. I've got great map options that we'll talk about here in a minute when we talk visualization. And I've got the ability to place additional planner information in other run screens throughout. Things like seed boom control, things like my bar graph, I can also visualize that over in the left hand area. So it gives me a ton of room to customize the display really in any fashion uh, that we see fit for, for what the grower wants to see and wants to see uh, in, in the display. So you'll notice uh, that the Pro 1200 now is going to go ahead and make a turn for me. So I'm going to go ahead and allow that AFS AccuTurn to go ahead and make this turn for me. So I've got that programmed in required a boundary to be set up, required those headland passes to be put on. It's gonna go ahead and engage that guidance for me as I make that turn back around. And good, consistent quality turns with AFS AccuTurn. So as, we, as we look at the third and final key point on a Pro 1200 controlling an early riser 2000 series planner is visualization. And that's really been, as we've shared this solution with customers, a key, um, point that they really, really enjoy and really, really appreciate is the visualization. The visualization of that data that I mentioned earlier, a lot of data being generated on this planner, I can easily see this and understand what is going on with the planner behind me. So one common way we've seen customers run this solution is in the format you see on the screen right now, where I've got on the left hand side a metric and I can visualize up to 10 different metrics for my row unit performance. So how is that row unit riding? And that gives me that easy to understand. Green is good, yellow, red is a problem. Maybe I need to get out and investigate that or make a change. Easy to understand uh, color reference as I make that pass through the field. And then over on the right hand side of this particular setup, I've got my varieties. Now the field we're in, the customer wanted to have two different varieties uh, placed in this, uh, on this planner at the same time. So I've got a variety in the right tank feeding the right hand side of the planner and a variety in the left hand side, feeding the left hand side of the planner. So I'm mapping those, but I would have uh, any one of those seed performance metrics, so skips, multiples, uh, any of those singulation metrics can be displayed. 
uh, at any time in a map layer. And again, I've got 10 different ones that I can choose from. All right, so we're gonna make our turn on the headland here again. AFS AccuTurn is gonna go ahead and make the turn for us. We've got it programmed in and created that boundary for it to know where the edge of that field is. We've got our headland passes already in place. It's gonna go ahead and make the turn for us, good, consistent, clean turns. All right, so that visualization that we see on the display, again, row by row level of detail. And if I start to see an issue, maybe that happens to be a seed metric issue uh, that, I, that I see emerge on that map. Now I can come over and investigate that a little bit further and look at maybe for example, in this case, the seed graph, and I drill down to row 10, for example, and I see my population's right on that 20,000 mark that we're looking for here. Singulation at 99, zero skips, very, very few multiples, and that spacing seed release index really below that 20 mark, really below the 15 mark, showing that we're doing really performing really well with that planter. So easy to understand graphics. Great visualization on that Pro 1200. It's a truly integrated display and it's fully customizable, really giving that operator the ability to lay out information in any fashion and format that they see fit for their operation. So that's the AFS Pro 1200 solution for planter control on an early riser 2000 series planter. For more information, visit your local Case IH dealer or caseih.com.